From ship hunting tomahawk missiles to autonomous UAV swarms, the Pentagon has long sought to protect its human forces by having weapons fight in their stead. But as these systems gain ever greater degrees of intelligence and independence, their increasing autonomy has some critics worried that humans are ceding too much power to them. The autonomous weapons of tomorrow will theoretically be able to identify, target, engage, and neutralize enemy forces, potentially without any form of human oversight. But in that case, where does responsibility lie when something goes wrong? Is it within the weapon system itself, its human overseer, or the defense contractors that developed it? So far, there's no clear-cut answer. But that's not to say that the world's militaries are in a particular rush to build Skynet and instigate the end times. The Department of Defense in 2012 issued Directive 3000.09, which regulates R&D efforts into these weapons. It demands that autonomous and semi-autonomous weapon systems shall be designed to allow commanders and operators to exercise appropriate levels of human judgment over the use of force. But this too raises questions. What constitutes appropriate levels of human judgment? As Professor Noel Sharkey of the University of Sheffield points out, those appropriate levels could mean anything from humans making every critical decision in the steps leading up to initiating a strike, to allowing an AI to do the same while the human holds a veto power over the final decision to attack. It's a slippery slope, Sharkey argues. So what's humanity to do, besides wait for the sweet release of death after our military machines rise up against us? As a DoD spokesman pointed out, international treaties, like the ones that helped regulate nuclear and chemical weapons from past conflicts, may not be effective, given that most of this technology's hardware and software is already ubiquitous and, in many cases, commercially available. But just as with the atom bomb, its potential for misuse does not guarantee that such misuse will occur. It's up to the world community to come together and decide, once and for all, what we want our collective future to look like, and whether or not we want it run by Terminators.